Hey artists, it's Mr. Hopkins here. Just uh, wanted to give you a quick tutorial on something I call coiled magazines. Um, <clears throat> essentially what you're doing is you are taking and twisting them around each other. This one you can see I've had for a while. It's come loose. Uh, but Elmer's glue will help you kind of stick it together. And then another folding technique, I got the cylinder-like shape for the rest of this guy. All right, and then you can see it can hold things inside of it, but probably not water or anything too heavy. All right, so it's coiled magazines, and uh, I will get started with a demonstration. All right, so first you gotta get some magazines, and the colorful ones, the better. And you're gonna want to tear a nice uh, equal line, usually. Sometimes you can find magazines that the staples will just uh, simply be removed and you'll be able to tear the pieces in half instead of as the full spread. Um, but once again, you're going to want to collect probably 15 to 20 pages that are pretty colorful. Uh, these, some of them are going to be colorful, some of them aren't. The e the, you don't have to get the lines perfect uh, when you tear. But you do want to try and get as straight as you can. Not all of them are going to come out super straight. But that's the first step is collecting your colors, collecting the pages. And then the next step, once you have so many selected, is to start folding them. So I'm going to pause it real quick. All right, so once again, Bomber's glue works good to connect it, but you only need a little bit. Okay, so when I start folding, I'm usually going to flip the colorful side on the back. And I'm going to start down here in the corner, and I'm going to start trying to fold little triangles and then turning it into a little parallel lines. They're nice and crisp each time I fold it. And the thinner I do it, uh, the better. But once again, you want those lines parallel. If you don't, it'll end up kind of starting to look a little more like a cone instead of a twisted and folded uh, parallelogram, I guess, square type shape. And I'm going to go ahead and speed it up through this next few parts. When you get to the end, you're going to want to make sure that you add a little bit of glue, just a dot, not a lot. Make sure you clean your tip off, you know, open and close it a few times to make sure that it's not clogged. And then just like your ketchup box, you want it to start flowing, but you don't want it to flow too fast. All right, so then I'm gonna hold it for at least 30 seconds. Make sure that it is starting to dry and that bond is nice and firm. All right, and I've got my first piece. I'm gonna keep moving. Keep working towards having quite a few of them built up. You definitely want to have the same size. If one's really thin like this and the next one's really thick, uh, it's not going to necessarily coil the right way for the bottom. Um, you could still make it work as long as you're showing me that you are folding and trying to keep them parallel.
this green guy, he gets kind of fatter up here and thinner down here. Just being aware of that and how it sits is going to be important. Okay? So, once again, I'm going to go ahead and twist up and roll up a bunch of them, and I'll be back here in a little bit. Okay, so now that you have a bunch of them twisted up and ready to go, you got to get a form. All right, so this form to start with, I'm going to make my base. And to make my base, I'm just going to take <clears throat> a few of these that are maybe not as colorful as some of the others. I'm going to get my glue to flow out just a little bit. And then I'm going to add two spots to these. All right, so then I got a little bit of glue on it. And then compressing it or holding it together, pushing it together is going to help. I also cheat by connecting on the top with the white glues and then it'll dry clear. Okay, so you start moving outwards with your colors. And you can see I've got two different sizes. I've got to where I just have a small one and then I've got the larger ones. All right, so alternating those is gonna be important, but also using the form to get uh, the kind of, kind of like a mold, basically. I'll be putting it on the top once these are dry, and I'm gonna start building it up from the bottom around it. Okay, so I might have the smaller ones at the very top going around. my form, or in this case, a yogurt cup. And this is going to be where some of your planning and all your extra stuff is going to come into play because they're not going to necessarily match up right every single time if you didn't know exactly how many you needed. Okay, after you put in the work to get the little discs out of the long strips, Okay, then you create your form. Remember I put a liberal amount of glue to try and create those connections. And then if I wanted to go bigger, I could always add more information with glue on top of it. Okay, so your goal is to make some sort of vessel or container, or just show me what your ideas are with coiling magazines.